big mistake that I see oftentimes with people that are just getting into implant dentistry is that they overload the bone. So as you can imagine, when you first get your implant stable, you want to have it fairly stable, right? You know, 35 newton centimeters, maybe up to 50 newton centimeters. But remember how osseointegration works. You start with primary stability, and then over the first six weeks, that actually decreases. Because when you push on the bone, what you're going to ultimately cause is necrosis. Where you get your secondary stability is through the blood. And so you got to make sure that you don't overload the bone or you have too much necrosis and your implant will actually fail before you even uncover it or before you take the healing abutment off. I know that this is something that has happened to everybody. If you've placed enough implants, you've gone and taken off a healing abutment and the whole implant comes out. So if you overload your bone, this can happen. So understand the biology behind osseointegration. We want to have it stable, but don't put too much pressure.